Hello, my name is Andrew, guitar player for Three Pairs of Boots and your host. I'll be sharing some of my favorite recipes, and later in the show, I'll be joined by our lead singer, Laura, to perform one of our latest songs. Welcome to Cooking and Country. Hello, and welcome Cooking and Country fans. Thank you for joining us. Today, we'll be making a spinach souffle. Now, you might think, that's too fancy, or that's too difficult, but really, it's pretty simple, and it's just eggs and cheese and a few other ingredients. And boy, it sure will impress your family and friends when you bring it out to the table. So, let's get cooking. Now, I'm not a professional chef, just a self-taught musician who likes to cook for his family. Take one cup of cream, sprig of thyme, and slowly bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, take it off the heat, cover it, and set it aside. After thoroughly washing the spinach, Throw it in a pan with the water still clinging to the leaves and let it slowly wilt. Press the liquid out of the spinach. First, we need to melt four tablespoons of butter. Now that the butter is melted, let's add four tablespoons of flour. I'm using almond flour to make it a little more keto friendly. Mix it up for about one minute. Let's add in one tablespoon of salt, about an ounce of goat cheese, one third of a cup of Parmesan. Stir until incorporated. Turn the heat off. Let's add in four egg yolks. The one cup of cream that we made earlier without the thyme sprig. And the spinach that we chopped up. Give it a good mix. Beat until the egg whites form a stiff peak. Butter the souffle dish and then toss in some Parmesan. Pour in the mixture carefully. With the help of my good friend, Sarah Floyd, Master Chalmier, we have chosen a Greek wine, Santorini, made from an indigenous Greek grape, to pair with today's spinach souffle. Man, it smells good in here. That's when you know it's ready. That 
And the timer helps too. Beautiful golden brown on the top. That's what we're looking for. Here we go. Luxurious, decadent, delicious, silky smooth on the inside. Get that nice crunch on the outside. It's a perfect dish for brunch, breakfast, dinner, something to celebrate with your family and friends. Here's to a great dish to share with our loved ones. Enjoy. Hello again. Now that the cooking's all done with, we're gonna play one of our latest songs. It's called, Take a Step. For joining us on another episode of Cooking and Country. We'll see you all next time.